Hi everyone, I'm Tammy. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I put together a first aid kit from Dollar Tree items. I know you can go buy already pre-made kits. I've had one of those in the past and they're very nice and I like them but they can become very pricey. And also I've noticed they put a lot of things in there that I never used. So, I wanted to make one of my own, and that way I could put exactly what I wanted in it. And I did it on a budget. This cost about $14 to do, and I just want to show you what I did. So, we'll just get started. I'm going to pull the camera down and show you what I got. I hope everybody's doing good today. I know I am. It's beautiful here in the south. This is the bag that I bought to make the first aid kit with. And it came from the Dollar Tree. And it's made out of a heavy-duty, like, flexible plastic. It feels real durable. It's got three pockets on the front. It's got two little narrow pockets on the side. And it has one big pocket right there and then this is the back and then here's the bottom it opens up to about two and a quarter inches it has a zipper on top and I'll show you how easy it works and it has handles if you noticed I have put labels on the pockets on the front and I just cut these out of some poster board that I got from the Dollar Tree and just hand wrote these. And you could use your computer and printer to print out nicer looking labels, but I just did it the easy way for me. And uh, I taped them on with just scotch tape. So I've got a place for tweezers, bandages, alcohol pads, and chapstick. So now I want to show you the things that I've got to put in my first aid kit. Let me raise you up a little bit. I got some sterile alcohol pads. Now these are the only thing that I know of that you cannot get from the Dollar Tree. And they actually may have them. I just haven't looked for them there. These I picked up at my local drugstore. And they cost $1.59 for 100 alcohol pads. So I've got these. I've got this artificial tears or eye drops. And you can get these at the Dollar Tree. I got this pack of gauze pads, and these are two by twos. There's 10 in the pack. I got this tube of triple antibiotic ointment. And we've used this a lot in the past, and it does just as good to me as Neosporin. But now that's just my opinion. And got some tweezers. These are new. I got this elastic bandage or ace bandage. I got a package of antacids. There's 60 in the pack, and they sort of look like Tums. They're different colored, fruit flavored. I got the band aids. And these are the 30 count fabric band-aids and I love these things. I buy them all the time and to me they work just as good or better than some of the name brand band-aids. I've got cough drops. I've got a chapstick. And this came in a two pack. I have this anti-itch cream, and it came like this. And my husband has used this anti-itch cream all summer long, and he says it's a good product. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh, I have a mask. You can get mask at Dollar Tree. 
and I have some disposable gloves. I've got two pair. And these I did not get from the Dollar Tree, but you can buy gloves at the Dollar Tree. These I just happen to have here at my house. Oh, and I have this tape that was in my medicine cabinet, so it didn't cost me anything, and it's bandage tape. But I think you can get this at the Dollar Tree, too. I'm almost positive you can. So, I have really less than $14 in all this, but we'll just go ahead and we'll get started, and I'll show you how I put it together. I love that this has these little pockets on the front. So, I'm going to put my alcohol pads in this pocket on the front, and they fit perfect down in there. And then in front of them, I'm going to put the band-aids. And just slide them right in, like that. So, I have those in the middle pocket. And then I'm going to take my tweezers. And I'm going to push them in this little narrow. What would be good for this pocket is some little scissors. Now, they do sell sewing kits at the Dollar Tree. And you could take a pair of those little tiny scissors and put in here with this. And I may do that. And then I've got my chapstick. I'm going to put it right there. It's new. It's never been opened. And you may say, what does a chapstick have to do with a first aid kit? Well, if you've ever had chapped lips, you know because I've had it so bad that my lips bleed. So the chapstick was a necessity for me. Now we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see if everything's gonna fit in here. I'm gonna put my gloves on the bottom, like so. And I think I'll put the gauze pads in and the antacid. Now, that's a lot of antacid to carry in a first aid kit. It's 60 tablets, and really, you don't need that many. I could take and put some of those into these little snack bags and use it that way, but I think we're going to have plenty of room, so I'm just going to stick it in there for now. I'm going to put the triple antibiotic ointment. I'm going to put it in front of the other stuff, and here's the ace bandage. I'm going to put the cough drops in. They sell a good variety of cough drops. They sell the Halls, and then they sell their brand. I think Assured puts uh, the other brand out, and I use the Assured, the sugar-free. Now, I've got the eye artificial tears or eye drops, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to tuck them in. Here's the anti-itch cream. We're going to put that in there. I think I'm going to put it in the front. And I'm going to tuck this mask right in the back of everything. Probably two masks wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, the only thing I know of that's really missing from this is maybe some little packs of aspirin or Tylenol or Advil. And they do sell those at the Dollar Tree, the little small packs. And when I go back, I'm going to get me a variety and put in here, but you could put just whatever pain reliever you use of your choice. So there it is. It's zipped up fine. There's plenty of room in it. Everything is right there. Now this, you could just put it with your camping gear, just grab it up when you're going out the door, or you could just put it in your car and leave it. It would fit in the glove box or the glove compartment or the console. I am gonna put this one in my car and leave it in my car. So I know there's some other things missing. If you want to give me your suggestions down in the comments, that would be great because I always learn a lot from y'all about, you know, different things and I'm always pleased to get comments. So that's it. That's my Dollar Tree first aid kit. I think it's really neat. Oh, I left out my tape. Let me put my tape in there. I felt like there was something missing. I'll just put it right on top, and it fits in there fine. So there we go. There you are. <laughs> so if you will, please subscribe, leave a comment, and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. 
I hope everybody has a great day and God bless you all.